Hi everyone, this is Donna Maria from IndieBusinessNetwork.com here with another business success tip for you. I don't know if you knew this or not, but we have a private Facebook group for our members and there are hundreds of Indies back there sharing, asking questions, networking, learning, and encouraging each other. It's a whole lot of fun. So if you're a member, I encourage you to click the link below where this blog post and video appears so you can make sure that you send your request to join the group. And if you're a current member, we'll accept you, of course. I thought I'd give everyone else a little bit of a taste of what goes on in our private Facebook group by sharing one of the questions that's back there right now that's very active and getting a lot of engagement. It goes like this. I would love to hear from those who have achieved quote unquote financial success, meaning you are actually turning a profit in your business. How long did it take? I'm on one year into my five year plan and I could really use some encouragement. So there's lots of answers back there and I just want to share with you what I shared with this member. I told her three things that I thought were really critical. And you know, I also reminded that there's no real roadmap. You know, it's gonna be different for everyone, but I do think there are three things that are really critical to moving your business from year one to year five. The first one is focus. Avoiding every single bright, shiny optic that comes your way, and there's a lot of them. If you stay focused on who your audience is, who your customers are, making your products and service perfect for them, then you'll be in a much better position to drive your business forward to the kind of profitability that you're looking for. The second thing is have a cabinet, a close group of advisors. They can, these can be friends, these can be mentors, they can be, they can be paid coaches, they can be a private Facebook group. Put together what works for you and put a cabinet of advisors around you so that they can encourage you and also you know, hold you accountable for some of the goals that you set so you can keep moving forward and propelling yourself and your business. And the third thing is, and this is so super important, and that is to embrace technology. There is absolutely no way, no matter what kind of business you have today, that you can be successful in any sense of the word without the use of technology. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to understand and use every single little piece of technology that comes along. That would be totally impossible. But what you do need to do is go back to your focus. When you're focused on who your customers are, when you're focused on serving them, you will know which kinds of technologies you need to serve them. So it all goes back to that focus. But once you know that focus and you have a group of advisors around you, you can look at different technological tools that come your way and you can say, need that, don't need that, need a lot of that, need a little bit of that. And you can position yourself to take advantage of the technologies that will be most useful to you. I hope these tips have been helpful to you. This is Donna Marie. I look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, break all the rules, build your own corporate ladder, and create the life you love.